Hi, in this video I will show how to make a calculation in compliance with the adaptive method of the ASHRAE 55. So to access the adaptive method, you have to click on the ASHRAE 55 here at the top, which is the main page, and then you have to click this drop-down menu here. So you click on the drop-down menu and you access the adaptive method here. So in the adaptive method, we have three input, operative, pre prevailing mean outdoor temperature and airspeed. If you want to know more about, for instance, the prevailing mean outdoor temperature, you can click on the link and you will be redirected to Wikipedia where there, is, uh, for the, where there are further information. So if you want to change one value, you can either use the arrows or you can type in a new value and then you will see the changes reflected here in the chart. You can also change the airspeed because the ASHRAE um, calculates a cooling effect. So if the operative temperature is above 25 uh, degrees indoors, it allows uh, a, and it extends the adaptive region. Again, if you want to know more about this, uh, I would recommend you to read the Ashley 55 2017 version of the standard. On the right side of the adaptive tool, you have a message and you will see whether this uh, indicator is in within the comfort region. So if, for instance, in this case, we are in within both the 80% acceptability limit and the 90% acceptability limit. So we are complying with the ASHRAE 55 standards. And uh, this uh, also tells us which are the operative uh, temperature range in which, uh, in within, between, in within the operative temperature has to be if you want to make sure that 80% or 90% of the occupants are comfortable. So for instance, for this specific prevailing mean outdoor temperature, uh, we can see that 80% uh, of the occupants are comfortable if the temperature is between 22.1 and 29.1 degrees. At the bottom here, you can find some notes in which there are uh, Further, further information about this adaptive method, and you can use uh, this uh, information at the bottom to cite this webpage or to report issues on GitHub. Thank you very much for listening.